Welcome, After Buzzers. On tonight's After Show for Greenleaf, we talk Bishop and Basie's standoff, Grace's truth, and the family's fight for the future with actor Sean Blakemore. Stay tuned for more. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Welcome, After Buzzers. We are back the night before Thanksgiving, and we got quite the finale. Wow. Man. And I'm hungry. And as an extra special treat, we got actor <laughs> Sean Blakemore with us tonight, guys. So we're just going to go right into it. Again, my name is Shaka Smith. I'm joined by my lovely co-host. Hey, guys. What's up? I'm Nakia Monet. Happy early Thanksgiving. You all Hi, know what name is Thanksgiving? <laughs> I mean, I'm Canadian, I already celebrated. Today is TK Trinidad. <laughs> happy late Thanksgiving. <laughs> and my name is Rocky Harris. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so happy holidays. There you go. Very <laughs> diverse. Camera. We want right. to thank you, Mr. Blakemore, for joining us. And let the viewers know where they can find you on social media. Uh, the real Sean Blakemore on Instagram. That's pretty much it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> thank you He's for like, joining us. Simple guy. Simple guy. <laughs> That's how it goes. Um, well, tonight, guys, we're going to go through our news, our predictions, and, of course, our Who Needs Prayer segment, and we'll get to that a little bit later. But just what were your overall thoughts on this finale? Just <sighs> explosive. A little um, emotional because I felt like they did a really good job up to the end because mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie, I was pissed off. I was like, wait a minute now, <laughs> Oprah, what the hell's going on over there? And then when the end in, I was like, oh, okay, that's what's happening. I see, I see. But because it is a finale, I'm still very, like, paranoid. I'm like, what if this was all yeah. a dream? A dream. <laughs> yeah. I was, like, upset. Oh. <laughs> still I mean, upset. It had me, like, it had me in my feelings a little bit because yeah. I was like, oh, my God, he died. And then when he showed up, I was like, I was really cussing Oprah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. really, Oprah? Like, you... You gonna do this to me? No, she was stressed. She texted us all and was like, "Oh my god, did y'all watch it yet?" <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, "Jesus, <laughs> that's not." Yeah, but you know, I was like, "They too casual over death." But. Yeah, I, honestly, I was stressed for a little bit. Just be, I was stressed the entire season, but then this final episode was like, "Okay, everybody's winding down. Zora's away from this kid. She realized mm-hmm. it. Grace is finally getting revealing her own truth. Everyone's settling into their own comfort, and I was happy. I'm glad Lady May finally thought like it was." Time to tell her daughter. Yes, and <laughs> she kind of won me back over a little bit. Yes, a little bit. yes, Thank and to see them rekindle oh, their flame, that bit. was cute. When you lose everything, right. you know, gravitate yeah. to Because even at the end, when Grace confronted her, she was like, "But what's the problem?" I'm like, "Wow, <laughs> yeah, so you just you just don't care." But okay, that's what's up. Yeah, and it was nice to see that Lady May and Bishop like rekindled their yeah. their relationship. Yeah. Um, but. You know, hey, I'm still here for the divorce if she if she wants to. Do that. <laughs> you can still do that. Find your own happiness. Well, wow. What about you? Were you surprised by uh, any element of the finale? You know what? Let's just, and overall, the season was phenomenal. Yes. Yeah, it was definitely the best season yet. Yeah. Yes. I love how the writers and producers shared the stories. Um, everything was elevated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, it was all connected. It was incredibly done, and the performances were phenomenal all season long. They raised the bar. Yeah, it yeah. was Absolutely. a good season because I felt like we were all stressed because of the season. That's yeah. how good it was. Yeah, and it was yeah. a good, Anxiety. consistent, smart buildup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it was really, really smart. And uh, as far as the surprise, it was a surprise with the bishop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, but you could see certain things bubbling. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, talking about uh, Lady May, oh my gosh, she's yeah. the worst. Yeah, right? the, she's worst. the worst. The worst. Yeah. yeah, and everybody's wrong but her. Exactly. Yes, yeah. yes, which is like kind of how moms can be. Yeah. Even the but, child that didn't actually be born into the world, but it's her fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we got to rewind that tape of my prediction. I'm pretty sure I, I predicted Bishop having a heart attack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sure. We all predicted. We said either something's gonna happen, a death, or because I'm like, there's so much bad news coming for this guy. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> Some he point. had to deal with a lot. He was he was bearing a lot. He was bearing uh, his cross. And you have to give yeah. Sean and his due. He didn't just like fall off and do a couple episodes on Greenleaf. He was on uh, General Hospital, The Quad, yeah, American Crime, Y Five O. You can you just like just <laughs> introduce them all willy nilly like he hasn't been American <laughs> Crime. Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying you just have to give What'd him. What you his... say about an Emmy winner? I couldn't hear. You. Oh, oh, Emmy yeah. winner, Emmy winner, Mr. Just... Blake Moore. Emmy no, winner. Yeah, and Kim, how did you feel like winning your winning an Emmy? Uh, I felt great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but like thoughts? Did you did you expect yourself to win, to win it? I mean, obviously you put in the work, but like when that moment happens, right. like what does that feel like? I don't think anybody can expect you to win. You know? Yeah. And I didn't even anticipate it. I was actually out of town. Oh wow. Working on the quad. Mm. And um, so I couldn't get away, and I had to come back for a meeting. And I just so happened to, while I was in the airport in LAX, I reached out to um, 
Vanessa Antoine, who was playing my opposite on the show, I said, just in case I win, kind of say a couple of things like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> while, while I was in my car, the service car, she's calling me, oh my God, you won. Yes. I'm like, yes, what? Okay. <laughs> so they're passing the phone around, congratulations, the whole nine. And then, uh, and then I went on um, the talk to talk about mm -hmm. the win and just do my official acceptance uh -oh. of yeah. the award. Yeah. That's awesome. But that was amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, to, to put any hard work in and to have any acknowledgement is great. But, you know, as great as it is for me, I like to keep it level, mm -hmm. you know, and, and not depend on that. Yeah. Mm. But that was that was definitely a cherry on top. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, like, do the scripts yeah. just come slamming in after that? Like, I'm obviously you're getting booked and busy, but at the same time, like, is that what is that transition like? You know, uh, I've been fortunate to work a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, always. So to me, just to keep that consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and for me, it's not about just working. It's about really being selective with my projects. Mm. Yeah. You know, um, really, really, really selective. So. Sometimes you can have slower moments because you don't like what's coming in. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't have time to do it all. I couldn't even have time to accept my award because wow. I was working. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it's called it champagne problems. <laughs> you <know? laughs> mm -hmm. But, you know, um, you know, it was just a consistency for me. And it's exciting and it's, it's, it's still like exciting because that's something that will be tagged to your name forever. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and hopefully awesome. another one on the way, too. Yeah. Good. I, lo I love this character. I love mm -hmm. this character. And I love the way. Oh, little Phil DeMar. Yeah. 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 The way he looks like Shady. He and he looks like next season they're going to be up for a fight. So I'm excited mm -hmm. to see the character uh, mm -hmm. get in the fight. I have a feeling they're not going to like you very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just and saying. that's the thing about Phil DeMar is because you don't know. You know, it's, it's, it's a dirty business. Yeah. And it just lets you know that church is a business yeah yeah and it's under yeah. the guise you know of this sort of like this good you know, yeah. thing that they're doing you know when he starts to kind of speak the um what do you the Bo Bridges character mm -hmm. uh, Bob Whitmore when he starts to speak I kind of believed him but you also felt the sinister tone yeah. underneath as well yeah what was that like what did you guys gather from that did you Amazing. gather that like there's like these two black churches and you need the two black churches to like get on board with all the other churches yeah. or what did you gather from that speech well I mean they kind of like <clears throat> Because Bishop and a few people brought it up, like, the reason why they're so wealthy is because they've been stealing, well, not stealing money, but... Taking a percentage. <laughs> like, you know, taking a percentage right. from the yeah. church. So I feel like that may come up next season. I think that might be the fight where they're kind of exposed a little bit. And, you mm -hmm. know, from a corporate standpoint, probably, you know, skimping on certain things the church right. needs to save money so then the board members are happy and this and that and the next yeah. thing. But, yeah. but yeah. you guys misunderstood what, what Philip DeMars and the other pastor, what that company does, they save churches. Yeah. Mm. So... You know, this church was in distraught, financial distraught. We'll take care of that for you. But you fall underneath our umbrella. And so these are criteria, and of course we take this, whatever, but you can still have your house, mm -hmm. but we'll run it. Oh my God, yeah. it's like a mob for so the it's church. A, it's a corporate takeover. <laughs> what did I say, over, yeah. 100, over 100 churches? Yeah. yeah. You know, so it all fits under that umbrella. And so it's not stealing. You need help, it's kind of like a bank. Yeah. yeah. You need help? That's cool. Sign over that lane. Yeah. Mm. It's more like those but, credit those credit but, ones, those credit places where you yeah. like get your paycheck before it comes and then you owe them like, you know, oh, yeah. Place, All, yeah. you know, two hundred percent back or something. <laughs> Loan shark. So, yeah. But, uh, well not as not as bad. <laughs> you just made it sound pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Like, you gotta give something to get something, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so you lose, yeah, you lose your identity to some respect, right? And, uh, or Correct. at least the, the the possible control over your identity yeah. that you have. Now yeah. with Grace involved, yeah. Grace is already playing. Don't show that harmony right. at home, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we start off this one with Bishop and Basie standoff, which oh my was gosh. where we left off. But I I was surprised. I was surprised by the way it ended. Uh, surprised by just the way. I mean, Keith David, shout out to that acting, like just mm -hmm. so balanced, and he just gave you everything in that scene. How did you guys feel about and how he talked Basie off the ledge or got him off the ledge? I was very nervous because I'm like, okay, this is TV. <clears throat> TV can go either way. Like, it can be super predictable where he's going to put the gun down and be like, oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Or because Greenleaf has been such a great season, I'm like, they can totally surprise us. And, like, right. he can turn around and shoot someone, like, when uh, Karen walked in or he can shoot Bishop. So I was on the edge of my seat, like, well, what is he going to do? Um, but I like that he was able to, like, talk him down and let him know, like, you're actually not really a killer. Yeah. And I like the scenes that's coming up because I feel like Basie's karma may come in mm -hmm. and... I like that it not that he I like that he had the heart attack, but yeah. I like that it was that instead of him being killed because yeah. I was super nervous. I didn't think he was gonna die. 
I was like, all right, well, whatever. Let's get past all the right. scene. But like, I mean, I just thought right, like, hardcore. I think we needed it just to feel something. Yeah. yeah. But and I, um, the only time that I thought someone was gonna die was when Lady May ran in. And at yeah. first, I was like, where did Basie go? And right. then in a minute, I was like, I hope a shot doesn't like come yeah, in and same. like, cause like take out someone that he loves, but then he would have to live with it, like how Basie would have to live yeah. with it. Yeah. That's what um, I was. You had the, you I had everything working. I didn't think so because at the end of the day, Basie already has like the the trip planned to Mexico. Like mm-hmm. there's so many people in the church. He was yeah. Like, if you think about killing somebody, like you have a whole church. Right. How are you yeah. gonna get away yeah. and get to Mexico? There's not enough time. You need to plan I it out. He was gonna well, kill Tasha. well, he definitely looked emotionally unstable. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, he was gonna leave the church. Yeah. At yeah. that point, nothing mattered. Right. He just wanted to get away. Right. Yeah. yeah. But if he if he shot the bishop, he would only get away so far. Like, well, he's not a convinced. Well, he would have been yeah. on the run. I mean, so, yeah. so you know, it's not like when you're. When you're on the edge, you, you, you're thinking logical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's not about those basic semantics. Okay, I'm going to do this because people do crazy things and yeah. not think about the results. Facts. Yeah. You know, and it just lets you know how unraveled he was. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And how this man used to be um, a prominent, respectable bishop who really walked a walk and believed, but had habits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, he dealt, so they dealt with real issues. And that's what I like about it, <clears throat> the whole show. Yeah. It wasn't so cookie cutter that, okay, well, you're the bishop, you're the first lady, you guys are always clean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody's hands dirty. Yeah. Some people's hands are a little bit more dirty than others. Mm-hmm. And some people, they don't have um, any kind of remorse. But, you know, if when you have a heart of God, you know, that remorse sets in a little bit deeper. Yeah. You know, so, you have, so all these beautiful challenges, even like talking about being PK kids, mm-hmm. um, yeah. that you, you, you have this persona that other people put on you, and sometimes you put on yourself, but you're real people dealing with real issues, you know, um, like the relationships and the little girl with the boy and abusive and, mm-hmm. you know, the infidelities in the household and all these different things like that. These people had a past, and they're real people regardless. Right. Yeah. But they just dealt with really, really things that people resonate with, and that's what I think makes the show so successful, that it's mm-hmm. not so clean. It's not just... A church show, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, that's just the setting. Yeah. yeah, I thought Basie was such a nuanced character because to see someone so like evil, but kind of grow up in the church and then cite scripture and then be yeah. able to just you know at the drop of a dime cite you any scripture, but yet he was doing these things, but had a moment of, oh wait, maybe I am doing something wrong. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That's his commitment. You know, it resonates with him a little bit deeper. Yeah. yeah. Because he does have a heart for God, and so. If he was just a complete loose cannon, you know, he really doesn't have a basis for anything. Right. Yeah. And that's what Bishop's like, this is not you. You you really believe you you are a true man of God. Right. Yeah. This ain't who you are. Yeah. While he's peeing in his pants. I was, <laughs> right, right. I was, with him. I was nervous. Because, like, what do you say to someone who's, like, about to kill you? Yeah, and you got to think the next down. words could be the wrong one. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I was thinking about that. I was like, damn. Like, I started to put myself in that situation. And I'm like, yeah. what would I do? What would I say? Like, mm. because I felt like Bishop was calm and he had the experience to kind of talk someone off the ledge. Like, yeah, you, but, don't, you really don't want to be doing this. There's so many other things that you can yeah, do. Yeah, but in that life. moment, yeah. you're not. I'm, I don't know if I would have been able to do that. Right. I would be pissed. I got you. I'd be angry. I think I, like, and you'd have to control the anger that yeah. you feel for that person yeah. at that moment. Like, is this person really trying to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I, I guarantee you, <laughs> your anger is gonna be the last thing. You <laughs> before, of course, that's what I'm when saying. When they leave, you be like, this mother. This mother. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. I thinking about how in control you yeah. have to be yeah. in that situation. You have to be calm for them to be calm, but your anger in the inside, and you're like, I gotta right. make sure they don't kill me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, and you want to yeah. pull a Denzel like and just flip it like real quick, but you can't. And it's like, you, you, you gonna pull a gun on me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna shoot me right here? <laughs> what strategy works best right now? Well, shoot me then. Right. Is she gonna make you feel better? Right. Shoot me. Hold on a second. But before you do that, wait, 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 hold on a I just bought some new liquor. Right. <laughs> right. You tell me about your childhood. I just want to chill a little bit. Up. You know, so. It's really strategic writing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Really, yeah. really smart. And I'm telling you, I, I, I reiterate. The performances. I actually oh. called uh, Keith and Lamont, just talking about how great the show is and how wonderful everybody's doing. And it's just, you know, some of these guys I knew before the show, and some I met. You know, like Lamont, that's my boy. Keith, that's my boy. Um, Lynn and I, we worked together prior. We mm-hmm. did a film together, and um, uh, and the, I get to see 
witness all of these people putting in this phenomenal work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And outside of that, in between the takes and you know behind the scenes, mad cool. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And now having both of those elements is not always the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can have a phenomenal talent, but who's just a horrific person. Yeah. yeah. Man, because I, that's something that I, that's nice to know. Because a, yeah. a lot of, it seems like a lot of people who are like already up in that space, like they're just like, whatever. I, right. These yeah. regulars. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's really nice to know. Yeah. So. But from us, you can always get the, the real truth. And uh, we think we have a word from. Uh, <laughs> we do. As great as that message was, I have another great message for you. <laughs> Yeah. So After Buzzers, our network produces after shows for nearly all your favorite TV shows, from dramas, reality TV, sci-fi, and so many more. There's no network that works harder to serve television fans, and you get to see more of us. Why yes. not? Every single week. Well, not every single week because it's our finale, but, you know, next season. <laughs> but we need your help. We're asking that you please subscribe to one or more of our YouTube channels. By subscribing to our channel, YouTube will suggest content that's tailor-made just for you, and you'll help After Buzz continue to grow. And if you're worried about those pesky notifications, don't be, because they are optional, girl, or boy. <laughs> so hit that subscribe button now for this channel, and check out our other After Buzz YouTube channels as well. Let us know that you did in the comments, and we'll thank you on air, as you guys always do, and we love and appreciate all of yes, your time. Yes. For now, thanks for being the best fans and helping us be the ESPN of TV Talk. Yes. yes. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Very good read. Very nice. I like to be, um, you know, literate. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> Well, uh, at the end of that Bishop and Maisie standoff, mm -hmm. we get Lady May inviting Bishop uh, for dinner. Mm -hmm. And she's got something to tell him. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we get that standoff between Grace and Lady May. You weren't happy with it, but I... am not. <laughs> she was still... She was still... She was just like... Oh. It was... I said I what I said. Right, pretty yeah. much like. Yeah. You're talking about Lady Man? Yeah. 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 She's the worst of the worst. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here's your child, though. Yeah. She's a grown woman. Your child is kind of begging and asking you, like, Mom, like, here, this whole time, now I get why you've hated me so much. And right. Lady, Lady May kind of gave her, like, the how dare you <laughs> yeah. make this about you? And I'm like, yo. This is about me. <laughs> it is. But this is about my me. My father for the past 40 years is not my father. Yeah. Right? Some man who just died is now my father. And you're upset at me? And honestly, she's upset at her. I just think she's thinking of the embarrassment. So her now, legacy. Yeah, so now, she, like, now her daughter knows. Now, you know, it, 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 it's true. It's going to find out. Now her legacy, like, yeah. you think. But that's all about her. It's all about her. Your well, child thinks like she's upset. That's what she's upset about. She's spent all this time building this legacy, and now it's going to seem like she was this trollop. But you know, it is you. But married. it is you. It, it is you. I would say Liz, <laughs> Liz Woodfield did such an amazing job in that scene. I love her as an actress. She's a beast. But yeah. she, mm -hmm. to she's me, is one of the best actresses. I was like, was they're writing for her as well. <laughs> yeah. She is a beast. Yeah. Yeah. That scene, though, I was pissed. It was like the way she walks off, and I'm like, <laughs> yo, Lynn Whitfield. One yeah. of the best actors. Yeah. And even, yeah. even the way she receives the news, and then almost you start to see a little bit of a change in her. Yeah. yeah. And then when the bishop tells her it's okay, and the change you see in that scene. But you know what? That kind of bothered me. Cause Same. Because it, it was like, why do I need you to feel bad about something that I should have did a long time ago? Like, that's, I didn't, I feel like, why did you need bishop to say, can you do this for me? Like, that, that irritated me. Like, Lady May, you should think to yourself, like, this is my daughter. This is my child. Like, yeah. let me just say this. First mm -hmm. of all, you're talking about the most self-consumed character on the show. Right. Yeah. Who does no wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. Who's never apologetic. And if the time she says she's a, she's apologizing, she doesn't mean it and she's condescending. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's the worst person on the show. She is. <laughs> she's she the is. worst. Is she I the mean, worst? Not Lynn, Lynn, you know you're my no, girl. But no. But, 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 but the amazing. character, Lady May, is the worst. And she's kind of like all this, oh man, what have you done now? Like, I what? mean, I think she's oh, misunderstood. How are you going to get it? <laughs> <laughs> I would say Zora's like at a close number, too. She's misunderstood. You have to remember that. The, I think she's misunderstood, one, too. The thing with her father. She's dealing with all these yeah. issues that she's never dealt with. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You talking about Lady May? Yes. What's she's molested by her father. And? Oh, my goodness. And her child. Oh, she, she hasn't, she hasn't, done, she Wait, hasn't dealt the, with all, any of this. There are reasons for her behavior, but her behavior is still pretty it's not, stable. It, yeah, yeah, as a 60 year old man. So, uh, let me ask you something. So, if you abused someone, mm -hmm. no matter how extreme, that's justifiable because you had a hardship? Right. 
I'm not saying she's yesterday. right in doing it. <laughs> so, 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 but what's the misunderstanding? Because she's still abusive. And so you can say, okay, it might have stemmed from that. Right. Mm-hmm. But the lady in this is in her 60s. Right. There's no She's excuse. never dealt with it. That's, that's what that's, I'm trying to that's say. That's nobody's problem. Yeah. But PTSD that's nobody's is deep. issue. Yeah. But you okay. get what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Like, yeah. It is. You don't pawn that. Uh, nobody's responsibility. You're accountable for that. And yeah. so you abuse your husband I'm and sorry, all man. of your I kids tried. who yeah. do nothing but try she's to show best, you love. Though. Yeah. Best action. You know what I'm saying? So she's, she's, but you can. She finagles her way out of everything yes. to make everybody look bad it's but herself yeah. and wants everybody to own up to everything yeah. but her own shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but but she's got a real but she's got a real feeling and connection with this idea of her legacy being tarnished. Like mm-hmm. she she feels that. She wants to lead, lead this life where she doesn't have this um, child from cheating, you know, this right, scandal. Yeah. So and you see when I, for me when the bishop says it's all right, I'm not changing, I'm not going anywhere. You see mm-hmm. that it was really all... He said we're even. That's what you started with. Yeah, but like, it was really about her what? shame. But I was like, wait a minute. She's yeah. an egomaniac. Yeah. She because is. if all she you're is. worried about is your legacy... Her shame, yeah. And, and you, 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 you abuse all of your children and your husband. Mm-hmm. And the only thing you want is your leg. Again, she's so consumed. I, I mean, okay, I, I retweet both of you <laughs> just because, okay... I don't know how it would feel to be abused by my father. Like that's that's deep. Mm-hmm. That's really deep. I, I never talk about it. And that's and yeah. And like that, that, I'm. I think that there's PTSD with Lady May. I don't. I do think she's a horrible person, and that she does need to be held accountable for it. She does need to go to therapy. Mm-hmm. But whatever she's gone through with with Bishop with um with her father, that's skin deep. That's something that's gonna travel with her for you, you years. You talk about two different things. Like that's factual. Mm-hmm. It's like it's factual. What you're accountable for. Because yes. her daughter was abused by her, her brother. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. But that's but what I'm saying. But she didn't turn out like her. But again, it's, it's the effects. Now, everybody's affected differently. Yeah. We get yes. that. I mean, technically, Grace did kill her brother. That's. Then when you're the one who's molesting her for years. Yeah. So what about it? I mean, okay. she didn't go to jail for it. So, but hold on. That's even more to bear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's even more to bear. But what I'm saying is, at some point, you have to hold yourself accountable. That's you can't give her a pass yeah. just because this happened. 60 years ago and she's never dealt with it okay so who's when you get through at at some point no matter what goes on in our lives Mm -hmm. no matter what goes in our lives you cannot let the rest of the world (laughs) pay your their price you can't you're accountable as a person you can walk up with your fist all balled up and you know and you try to beat up the world for what somebody's done for you uh, however long ago, but that's all irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. Because if you're not addressed this yet, she hasn't addressed the issue. Okay, I got it. But whose fault is that? I'm. I think. Yeah. I think that. It, it, I think it's. It's a gray, gray thing. I don't think it's something that can be a yes or no. I think everyone, like you said, deals with things differently. And I like for some people, they can grow up in a in an argumentative uh, family and never want to argue. That's how they deal with it. Then there could be another person who's like, I want to be a lawyer one day. Yeah. Like every person, you can grow up in the same household and have two different reactions to something. I'm but, just saying that. But we're saying something. We're saying we're saying the same. But we're saying the same difference. Right. What I said was, in life, we're all affected differently. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But what's not gray, what is has to be definitive mm-hmm. and be clear is when you get through, you're accountable. Right. Yeah. You have to make a decision at some point in your life to address the issue. Mm-hmm. Because as an adult, if you if you are adult enough to run a business, get married, have children, do all of these adult situations, mm-hmm. all adult accountabilities and responsibility, at one point are you not addressing self? You, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, as yeah. an adult, you have to deal with yourself. You have to. Uh, people are going to deal with you as an adult. Yeah, and I think what well, I think we saw that accountability kind of manifested itself in the shame that she felt. I think she. Yeah. I think probably from the abuse that, and of course we're going Yanla right now. But I think part of that abuse, <laughs> <laughs> that abuse, it manifested itself in its need to be perfect, yeah. in its perfection, mm-hmm. and shame when she wasn't. Right. And it was almost in a word that the bishop almost seemed to be healing that. Yeah. And then you kind of start to see a little shift with her, and then even the way she approaches Grace at the end, I'm yeah. like. Who is this character? Yeah, because he tells it's the... time for you to heal. You have to let that yeah. go. You have to heal, and that just upset. It just up, and I get that we all go through different things, but I was just upset because I'm like, here's your daughter. You two are grown women, and your mm-hmm. daughter who didn't actually be born in this world. She just 
wanted the conversation just to understand it, but I get who Lady May is. But mm-hmm. Lynn Whitfield to me is like one of the best actresses in that scene. Yep. I'm like, whoever writes her one liners for her, like, yeah. amazing. amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, on point. W- were you guys heartbroken that it wasn't Bishop, but also, so, for me, I was like heartbroken. I was like, well, of course it's not Bishop. But, her dad? <laughs> yeah. Wait, for what? Oh, that that, the, for that Bishop the, wasn't actually the father? The father? I wasn't surprised. Yeah, I think they need that for the next season. I was going to say for TV purposes, because of the drama, I like that they're going to bring that into the next season. Yeah. And because though Bishop says he's okay with it, I would love to see maybe he's really not okay with it. Or when she Mm. tells her siblings, like, Charity already feels like she's Jan, so maybe... Spoiler alert. uh Uh-oh. I'm her daddy. Yeah! (laughs) I'm (laughs) weak. We're the same age. My mind is already contemplating. I was like, wait a minute. We're the same age. (laughs) We were like... <laughs> What's happening in season four? Yeah, yeah. Right. But I like that they're going into that because yeah. you kind of need that for TV purposes. Like, all right, yeah. how are we now going to deal with this? How are the siblings going to yeah. deal? Yeah. How is Bishop and Lady May going to actually deal? Because he can say it's okay because I think I almost died. But now that we're a few months in, are we going to address the problem? I thought she was going to be more depressed. Same. I, did. Yeah. I was like, Lady May or Grace? Grace. I thought Grace was definitely going to go through a little bit more of like a, oh my God, oh, like no. this is devastating. I think but she didn't me. have a half brother. It'd be yeah. different. Yeah. 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 I, I think, think I think helped. I think now she has like some type of connection and to understand. Right. But to never answers. know but, your but, father but, as but, your father. But we're all affected differently. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Even with Bishop, but, when he was like, oh, "Well," I'm like, "Wait, huh?" And maybe but Grace maybe, has gone through so Bishop much. Was always loved Bishop, Grace, and, and it may be in the back of his mind, he probably, he probably knew. knew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is also true. He's like, she's but also, uh, Grace is still digesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because. It's not like she was without a father. Right, mm-hmm. right. She had somebody who loved her and she loved him. Mm-hmm. And just because she's a whoa, all these years, yeah, 40 really. years, you're not, okay, whoa. It's kind of like, huh? So it's not like, oh, it's not like she was empty without. Mm-hmm. That's That'll be a major difference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you've been on the search for so long yeah. and you thought you found it, you've arrived, and now it's, man, another door yeah. mm-hmm. slammed in my face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. You know, it, it would affect me in a, in a sense, kind of like, like what? Yeah. Oh I'd like, still be yeah. confused. I'd be like, wait, huh? She right. might actually be, like, at least it validates her mom hating her. So yes. At least you hated me for a reason. Mm. And I get she got closure it. in yeah. that yeah. way. She's like, like, well, at least I knew I wasn't crazy. Yeah. I knew this lady hated but me. But it can make you mad, too, because you're this evil woman mm-hmm. who's always judging me about what I'm doing and look at you and you're talking about I'm, 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 and I'm with my, and I'm with my boyfriend because I'm spending the night and you're going to judge me you got babies popping up everywhere you're going to look at Jesus, you got babies popping up. Look at you, mom. You a bum. You a bum. Imagine her saying to her mother, like, "Mom, look at you." You spreading your wings. Oh my God! Lady May would probably kill her. She would like physically kill her. He went back to first season. That was first season. Right, right. Camping across the lawn. Right. Brings back Oprah. She said she felt the car. It was hot. I can't. Yo, Lady May, man. Oh my god. Yes. Um, just, well, she's us, a favorite. Yeah. To get us talking about it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's, that's good performance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, and of course, we get uh, what leads kind of to the family's cohesion is that moment where Bishop is giving his final speech. Mm. I didn't know it was going to happen in such a dramatic fashion. Yeah, this is when well, I text y'all. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> Did you y'all watch? This? I said, He was sweating in the office. I was like, Oh, Lord, I hope Bishop was having a hard attack on that damn stage. <laughs> yeah, well, what did you, how'd I you mean, guys do If react? I were going to go out, I, I would want to go out like that. And I don't want yeah. to. Oh. That's a different show. God yeah. forbid. God forbid. Either like that or like, uh, wait, wait, what is it? Doing, therapy. Like doing what you love. Is that yeah, what you mean? Yeah, doing what oh, you love. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you, you know you didn't say that, right? I want to go out and heart attack. <laughs> yeah, that's because that's how. I mean, go out like doing doing what you love, or go out being peaceful. And, like you don't want to die in like a car accident, or like like that. He he loved preaching. He's yeah. done it all his life. He doesn't know anything else. That would be the best way to go out. And yeah. he said he had a dream about it. Clearly, yeah. it was yeah. not right. that quite. That was him. emotional. Yeah, and he was watching good, him right. slip away. Yeah. 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 And he was just so apparently he was just like with passed out, or he just closed. <laughs> right. He said, "I think it's my heart." Yeah. Yeah. Said, not it's my heart. heart. And he I said goodbye. And I said, "I said you're not gonna do Keith." Like, like, I like Carissa though. She's like, we love you. Because <laughs> Carissa's writing. She's like, thank you. I'm sick of y'all. Okay. <laughs> she said, 
We love you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, right. No, but that was an emotional scene because the speech was really good and he steps down and he lets the church know and for him to fall out like that, I, I got super, like that. the show did such a good job yeah. leading you up to that point because even to the end and, and then when they were in the house, I was so confused. I'm like, it, and they had them all wearing like dark colors too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they're talking about that. See, but that, that was what cued that me off it, like, yeah. Yeah, like I was like, he's not dead because they're wearing blue. Like, why is everybody in just this navy dark blue? Like, it was trying to give you that, oh, he might be dead. Yeah. But it was so, yeah. it was super, super She's like, like we're honoring daddy. I'm like, I, I, didn't, he? I didn't know. Like, I didn't know till after the conversation with Zora um, and Sophia. So it took me that. Oh, yeah. That, that conversation, I, I was like, I think in. he's I dead. Like, oh, okay, oh no, I didn't. It didn't take me that long. I was like, he's not dead. Sure, slow. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I didn't know. know. I, I didn't know to the credits. When I saw the credit, I was like, was that bitch? <laughs> I don't know how they set it up was like I went TK though he, because he died. Even when the girls were talking. And he's like going through all that stuff and he's yes. old, he's tax evasion. That's a lot on old time. <laughs> like God. I went TK where like when the girls were talking, I was like, damn, they kinda casual about the death of their grandfather. Well, yeah. and skipping on the lawn, whatever. And then <laughs> when they came into the house, then I was like going back and forth. I'm like, what if he's not dead? And then when Gigi was talking, and then it's not really until they sat down and I was like, Oh, okay. and he walks in uh, all like cool. When stuff. Lady May started talking, she wasn't distraught. Right. Then yeah. I was like, Okay, he's not dead. Cause then I was upset. I'm like, yeah. why is nobody as sad? Yeah. Everybody like, was hella calm. Yeah. And then this navy blue, I was like, he ain't dead. And Aaron came in in the gray suit still, and I was like, okay, She's I was on that like, navy blue. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, the navy blue was the giveaway like oh no like he, he was he's not then they gonna pan to the family photo i'm like is he <laughs> <laughs> and then will grace was like it's for Bishop. Right. <laughs> like, it was so like, calm. Like, I'm like, so they, this, this they just dra- happened. I, they dragged it out maybe a hair too did. long. Yes. I got it. Yeah. 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 They dragged it a hair too long. Not really, because they were like this. I was. I, I, was, I guess I was. I was, was, I was we all had a different like, reaction. She was, just realized that Bishop was dead when we got here. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, what? Hold on a second. That was like, Bishop's ghost. That was Bishop's ghost. You know what? Technically, it could still be next season, so we make it up for a dream. Could be a dream. It could be a dream. Roseanne still had you messed up on that old <laughs> right. oh, Oprah could be watching like, oh, I, I got something for y'all. You got something for y'all. Right. Yes. You thought it was a they, they, they got rid of her. Yeah. It was a and it was a little cloudy. It was a little blur. Like, it didn't have like, like a, a little dream. Dream sequence. I'm just something. saying. <laughs> Look. Something. Yeah. It did seem like a little weird. So I don't know. We do need to wait till next season. But it, but it was nice to get the family. Yeah. It, it looks like next season is going to be almost like that Queen Sugar, the family. Yeah. Against, you know, and the, they always have the issues person. at the table. Yeah. And so now it's fine. You said something that was very important now you have the family who may operate like a family finally Mm -hmm. because now they're fighting for a common cause yes yes and I'm not gonna let that happen. Hey, yeah. oh. I I said that I thought that was gonna happen this season. I was like, I feel like the family's gonna either come together to take down Basie mm-hmm. and Michelle, mm-hmm. yeah. but I'm happy that it's gonna go into this season to hopefully take okay. you down. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, you know. <laughs> because now you're dealing with a whole conglomerate. Yeah. 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 Like, they don't even have money. Yeah. It's a fact. Uh, they don't uh, even uh, have. They broke. Yeah. Well, Dre- I'm feeding them. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, Grace just Jesus. came into some cash. Grace just came into some oh, cash. That's right. Wait a minute. Oh, that's Wait a minute. Where did that? Come from her okay. Line okay. Line right. Real dad. Cause I, okay, because yeah. I, I, I didn't, didn't want to assume nothing. Yeah. That's hard. That's but you know, he's like, you're good. You get, you know, got the job. You're, you know, doing. You've been with me for oh. years, forever. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Wait, wait just, no, I just remembered that Lionel didn't really like Aaron. Yeah, he didn't <laughs> like, like him because yeah, he, didn't like, he didn't like his yeah. son, so he didn't leave him. Oh, nothing. that's cold. That, yeah. Now that it takes up yeah. the gravity, as I yeah. recall. I'm like, It'd be man. cold if he left the dog too. That was super that cold. Be, that's why he made it work out. Yeah. Fast. Man. Yeah, yeah. Aaron, that's why Aaron said principally not taking the money anyways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he took good uh, for Aaron. Her, her sister's man. And, uh, <laughs> so, I win. He's like, I've taken enough. <laughs> well, I, I said what I said. <laughs> I won. Hello. Good day. Good day, Grace. <laughs> good day. And then we also had our other um, relationship of Jacob and Carissa oh, yeah. really working back out, which, I mean, I was rooting for him. Mm. Yeah, I was like, whatever. Uh, don't let okay, any, so uh, another young lady come. Because that's very, they're very interesting, Jacob and Carissa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Do you think it's just one sided is the issue, or do you understand why why it's there as it is? While you know there was a distance in the relationship, she, or, or disinterest. She runs over him. She she yeah. does not she does not pull back, and I think that makes him feel feel belittled. I yeah. think he yes. yeah, yeah like he doesn't feel like a man. I still don't think you should cheat. I think that should be the you should it always was just leave. One kiss. 
Well, we talked well, about just the, the, even the, we're the everything. About the season, the entire everything. relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that she does need to work on herself because she is over, just very overwhelming, embossy. overbearing, rude, and very disrespectful. judgmental. Very yes. Yeah. She has no respect for him. Yeah. So, but listen to so what let's you just break up. So listen to what you yeah, mm-hmm. You're disrespectful. You're overbearing. You're rude. Mm-hmm. Don't like, so what do you do? I mean, he's trying to hold it together. He made some mistakes, but no. you know, no. there's there's no positive payoff. There's no positive return of what she's giving. I would yeah. just if I if I felt disrespected, I would just I would tell her, look, we need to go to therapy. We need to work right. this out with counseling, something. But I'm not going to take this from you anymore. Cool. Other, yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to leave. I was gonna say, yeah. I'm not leave. I'm not going to mm. cheat on you because what is that doing for myself? Like that doesn't make me feel better as a person, yeah. even though that may. Satisfy- well, in a moment, yeah. <laughs> well, I think, you know what? I think it took, I, I, you know it, it took, I think it took Jacob some time to learn some more positive <laughs> yeah. coping mechanisms. Yeah. Yes. But but sometimes but he did. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can have something as a coping mechanism, but realize that just it can't be that. Right. So for him, it was cheating, but other people, it's drugs or you know. So mm-hmm. I just hope. He never meets yeah. a, a new lady. So, I, I, a new lady? A, well, it's a new one. I hope he doesn't work one. with someone who's fine. Well, no, Jacob can't. I think that. he knows himself now. I think yeah. I think he had to be on his own and be his own man and feel like he could be his own man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So all the times that Carissa approached him, she approached him. I think from thinking that that's her partner, so she could tell him what to do because that's her partner. Mm-hmm. But he just heard it as like talking no, down, bro. talking down. I think she thought, no. I don't know, I just like the way they ended up here where it looks no. like there is a genuine partnership. No. 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 That was okay. like, <laughs> she she approached him in a very aggressive, disrespectful, ownership mm. type of manner. It wasn't in a partnership because a partnership usually is, is much more collaborative. Mm-hmm. You know, she was much more in an aggressive nature, so, you know. No, no. But when, yeah. when do we but, know when she began to be this way? Like, right. did it start off with cheating and then she just became like sick of it, or like mm. I think she it was, was always like that yeah. in, in the way show? That. Yeah. yeah. She was very from the very beginning. Assertive. She was a little yeah. yeah. But, That's true because you know what? And then when Lady May was like, uh, Marisol got it. <laughs> Calm down. We, she she knows her job. But I, like, I've but, definitely grown to like her character because I remember the first season. I was like, gosh, she's annoying as a wife, what? but she's still annoying to me. She is annoying, but I've grown to like her character and just mm-hmm. to see her like kind of bring her guard down a little bit and see her and Jacob try to work on their relationship. Well, and, when she was uh, like, tell her you love her. I was well, like, whoa. Uh, she, she might be who we need to pray for uh, in our next segment, well, Who I mean, Needs Prayer. Some, so something. we do a segment called Who Needs Prayer and we kind of pray for the characters in general, some of the issues they're going through <laughs> and um, even for some of the people in the real world who might be going through those issues as well. And so we'll do the Who Needs Prayer segment and we'll go into our predictions for next season. Mm. Um, mm. So why don't we start off with you? Oh, goodness. Okay, I don't really know who I'm going to pray for. I never do. Um, I'm just gonna pray for the entire cast again, Bishop. I really hope that you are still alive. Uh, that would be great. Um, I don't feel like it can be a show completely without you. Um, for anyone who else is dealing with family struggles, just come together. Um, find a common enemy within each, within each other for your family, for yourself. Um, don't fight against each other when you don't have to. Listen to each other. Um, find common ground and. Just be happy. We're going into 2019. Start your goals. Get your fitness, um, you know, aspirations happen. <laughs> Set us. Uh, uh, Wait, we talking about the church too? Everything. <laughs> this is for anybody. Anybody. Yeah. anybody. Go, okay, go to church. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's uh, above and beyond. Yeah. Yes. In 2019. Yeah. Come on listen, now. in 2019, find you a church home and just be blessed. <laughs> there Amen. you go. Amen. That's a prayer of circumference. <laughs> um, <yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Now, I'm not going to do this with you because... You did it last week. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I just want to pray for Lady May. And she's been going through a lot. She's been going through stuff for years, and she just needs to realize that she needs to own up to it. She needs some counseling. She needs super Jesus, not Jesus. She needs super Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is super. Yeah, but like okay. Jesus, Jesus, and then Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. She needs all that so she can deal with her and Grace. Why are you laughing? They need help. There's only one Jesus. Yes, there's one Jesus. But and it's like all, the Jesus. end all be all. That yeah, it's like the super Jesus. Yeah, Jesus you. is super. Yeah. I can't stand y'all. <laughs> Father, I also want to pray uh, for uh, everybody here who wants to get in the gym. Let's not wait for 2019. Let's get it right. 2018. Mm-hmm. Is that shade? <laughs> Your prayers. <laughs> T- uh, Nakia. Hey, we just boom, boom. Let's, let's, let's move on let's down the line. Let's not segue on over. Damn, that was a personal problem. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
I'm just motivating you to get it done before 2019. Mm. Jesus. That's a, that's a shame. I'm going to pray for TK. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> took my personal conversation put it in the damn prayer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I want to pray for... Um, I also was going to pray for Lady May and mm. anybody like her. Super I want to pray... <laughs> I want to pray for people who are actually struggling, who have been through trauma, and because especially like in the black community, we don't really talk about mental health mm -hmm. and mental he mental healthness and getting the help and going to therapy. And I know people like my mom, who's now in her 50s, who's now dealing with her trauma and stuff like that. So I want to mm -hmm. pray for those people who who think that it's maybe maybe it's too late that I can't speak to anybody, but you can about mm -hmm. your issues. Um, just want to let you guys know that God is always with you, Jesus is with you. Yes. If you need to speak to someone, definitely talk about your issues and yeah. get it out there. Don't keep it in because you don't want to be an 80 year old person still struggling because a lot of childhood trauma follows you to adulthood. So I definitely recommend um, therapy and talking to someone yeah. and going into 2019 with. Blessings and blessings, blessings and, and more blessings. Clear heads. Yeah. I pray for Lady May and Jesus. Jesus, listen to. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray for for Basie. I think he needs oh. the most prayer right now. So I'm gonna pray. <laughs> he needs Jesus. I'm gonna show. pray that hey, the Lord grants him enough time for him to <laughs> go to Mexico. Get in touch with that that moment that he felt in that um in the bishop's office. That mm. to get that it's never too late to come back home, even for a moment before it's all over. So let us pray that Basie <laughs> gets that moment. <laughs> and uh, do you? Like, I ain't taking no part. I want none of this. So I, was like, I, I, was like, I need to come back for season four. I'm not messing with y'all. And we do pray for Mr. Demars to come back fighting because I'm. Yeah. I, I want to see the fight. I want to see. That's gonna be a good one. So, um, well, yeah, well, let's just go right to predictions from that. What do you guys predict for next season? <sighs> I think that we won't have really that many problems with the with the Greenleaf family. I think everyone's going to be on one accord. Um, I would say, I don't know, I, it's kind of hard to predict right now because, I mean, it's the finale, yeah. so who knows where it will go in, in the next season. And but they gave us closure, which is nice. Like, yeah. I hate the finale, they don't give us that closure. Because yeah. you really, at this point, you really don't know what's going to happen. You just right. know that the family's all together. I'm so. still excited to see it, too. Right, yeah. yes. exactly. Um, and we have one common enemy, so now we're, we're going <laughs> to... Why are you going to look at me? Like <laughs> I mean, you it's know... It's facts, though. It's facts. Uh -oh. You know, I'm just saying. Say be hating, and we're going to see it in, in season two. Oh, yeah. Or season, not season two, but the next season. What, what's that? You said what? Season two. Yeah. Or not season two, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Season 22, if we want to keep it popular. Okay. Like yeah, there you go. Right, Double right, it up. Yeah. Thank you. We can be Grey's Anatomy out here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Out okay. here. Shonda. Law and order. Right. Um, I just have a feeling that we're going to just hate you. That's Ooh. it. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna be like so good that we're just not gonna let, not gonna feel you. Why you gotta be so passionate about that? I because mean, I already see myself sending you mess like, dude, why why do you gotta why are you like, doing that? Up? And then you're not gonna give me any like details. It's gonna be very frustrating. But I know that we're not gonna like you, so we can just start hitting you from now. I think yeah. Isaiah's coming back. I think so oh, too. Oh yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. I gotta get in some blows. <laughs> <laughs> I predict that I can't Shaka. stand Shaka, so that's one. Um, Every day, you can't stand you. Now, I, like Raquel said, like you really don't know where next season's going to go, mm -hmm. but I am happy to see the family together because I think it is going to be a fight between your character and Bo's character, and I think because even like with you, like you're both of your characters, you don't really. It's like a little shady, but they kind of hit you with a, oh, we're here to help. Yeah. And so I'm interested to see like the family take you guys down. And um, and I'm interested to see like Grace finding out about herself, her father, mm -hmm. and Aaron. Because even though Aaron says he doesn't care about the money and stuff, that still has to hurt that your father didn't leave you absolutely yeah. anywhere. Right. I was going to say. But he left a daughter who he never knew. So I'm interested to see that. And um, I'm hoping that Bishop and Lady May, I just want to see. And then like, how did he know, yeah. no? Like, what if he, what, what if he wasn't? Maybe well, no one. What do you mean? How did he know? No, like, she like how did he? He didn't. They didn't take a test. He passed away, and he still left oh, her the money. Yeah, so he didn't yeah. really know. Yeah. Maybe he had it in like will. Like if the blood test comes mm -hmm. back, she will get this money. If mm -hmm. not, it's gonna go to my dog yeah. and not Aaron. Mm -hmm. What's um? I'm <laughs> forgetting um um. Not Aaron. The the her Grace's brother's name. Um, uh, is it Aaron? Is, oh, I, yeah. Jake it, or Aaron? Not, J uh, not Aaron. Jake, Aaron. Aaron. Okay. Aaron, yeah. I think they're going to have issues. That I think family so too. dynamic is like something's going to come back around and it's going to be, I don't know, but I just think that I think it's going to be how they're raising the baby. Oh. Something's uh, going to go well, on. Let's just say well, Lady Mavis is going to have a baby too. Like Sarah. Well, who, lady, oh, get out of here. <laughs> I, what, what I do see, what I. <laughs> I, I, I get I, out I, of here. Turn 2K's wife. I mean, Sarah and Abraham is possible. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a. Lady May's <laughs> eggs are fried. She ain't having no baby. Oh, yeah. 
Corona. <laughs> because she's a woman in her 60s past menopause. So even if she had a surrogate, there's no, unless she froze not her eggs. Not touching that at all. At all. I uh-huh. am not. But, I'm not talking about Lynn Wilson. I'm talking about her character's <laughs> age and her 60s. There's no, after menopause, you know, there's Oprah, no AIDS. Make that happen. <laughs> but, that happened and I'm, good night. <laughs> well, this but, you will. I, I do think, I, I think we're going to have a, I think all season long we're not going to be sure if we like your character. Yeah. Or not. I think yeah. it's going to be we're an open question. Like it's going to be like a Tasha. I think he might be like a plant where he kind of mm-hmm. seems like maybe he's actually kind of our friend and then and yeah. then they're like, wait a minute. So, <gasps> maybe you and Grace have, have a, little a little relationship. Oh. That's, yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. That's what I think. And Rick, what's up? I'm tired of Rick, Do, do you yes. have any predictions for next season? It's going to be great. <laughs> That's not a prediction. I like it. I like it. I like it. Well, we just want to thank you so much for joining us here. This has been Appreciate amazing. It. Please come back. Yes. Definitely. Come back and go with us. He's like, nah, awesome. let me make sure. He's like, never. Off the list. I wish I got his cheek hair. Delete. Never. Delete, 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 delete. Any wanna... projects that we can look forward to? Oh, yeah. Uh, got something coming out. It's called Ad Astra with Brad Pitt. Oh, oh. Um, that's, that's in the summer. Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. then I'm, right now I'm doing um, a Lethal Weapon. Nice. Mm-hmm. Television show Lethal Weapon. And, uh, yes. and then I'm doing this one porn. I was just joking. Hey! Okay. But we really said, listen, <laughs> like, what's the side? Ask me for well, guys, stays working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I no <laughs> time off. No <laughs> time off. <laughs> from everywhere. Uh, <laughs> we want to thank you guys for joining us all season long. Again, this crazy bunch of <laughs> friends here. Again, my name is Shaka Smith. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Shaka Strong. I am Nikia Monet. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We will see you guys next season. Oh, we will. All right, so uh, you can find me on everything at TK Trinidad. You can also find me on VH1. Check Ooh. out my social media. You'll see all that good stuff because, Turn you know, up. be popping. And you know, you can see me around LA. Okay. But, you know, everywhere. All right. On social media, everywhere. My name is Rocky Harris. You can find me on all social media at Raquel Harris TV. And happy holidays. Um, spend time with your family and just like with the Greenlee family, reconnect. Okay. Yeah. Communicate. Amen. Get out here. Talk to Jesus. That's the prayer. Talk yeah. To Jesus. <laughs> you know? Amen. And again, where can they find you? Uh, the Real Sean Blakemore Instagram. And thank you again for joining us. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys next season. Bye. Bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.